Now, just a short introduction to your assignment and to what else you can find on the website. So here you can see during the for the lecture the one that we already discussed and also the short introduction to, to the flight analysis in GIS that I'm going to cover just in a minute. And you can see that you have two uh, the assignments is uh, has two parts. One is creating the flight flight the flight flight plan in Trimble Aerial Imaging software also includes instructions how to install it on your Windows machine and also how to uh, um, how to uh, analyze the flight plan in GRASS GIS. So the flight planning in Trimble Aerial Imaging software, you shouldn't have a lot of problems with that because uh, there is uh, there are instructions and uh, in even the movies uh, that will show you step by step what to do with everything. Um, then the end at the end of the um, of the assignment, you should have the ready exported KML, KML file with the flight path, and then you move to uh, to. to GRASS-GIS when you can input this uh, flight uh, flight path, you can see here, and um, here are the GRASS-GIS um, commands that you use uh, and also the instructions um, about the, the, the each step. Uh, that we are uh, that uh, you are required to perform in order to have the data for uh, the report for the assignment. So now what you're going to do during this uh, analysis of the GIS tools, as I mentioned before, the flight planning software packages uh, even either use the low resolution DM that are already just it's accessible online that doesn't have trees, buildings or uh, um, like in other features, it just has as a background, or even are not using any um, any reference at all. It just uh, um, arbitrarily designs a plane uh, where it executes the flight plan over. So by bringing the flight into GIS and uh, using the high resolution DSM, so the surface model, we can make sure that the flight uh, path will not cross any obstacles. So you will analyze and visualize the flight path altitude and then height above terrain. And then you will check for any obstacles. And it's how it looks like. It's the flight, uh, flight altitude. This is the flight uh, height over terrain. So you can see it's low when you take off. Then it reaches the specific height with some fluctuations. And then uh, it lowers when you land. And then you can visualize it here. There are two flight plans designed in uh, in Trimble Aerial Imaging. One is for ground sampling distance four centimeters, so this is the higher one, and then the lower one if you want to have the two point four, so like an inch resolution. And you can visualize them in three D with the orthophoto and the digital surface model that you generate uh, from uh, point clouds. So this is it. Good luck with your assignment.